Um, Rubik's cubes are made in a lot of different ways. This one here you can see is pulled apart and um, you can sort of see that the pieces move along rails um, to rotate. This isn't a really great style because it makes it hard to turn. If it's off just a little bit, the rails won't line up and it won't be able to turn at all. It sort of did there. But that's called corner cutting. Um, it makes it faster to solve. Like right there, I can't do anything. But on a cube like this, I can rotate it this much and it'll still flip. Um, depends on which way you're going. This one's constructed differently. I can actually pull it apart pretty easily. Um, there we go. Now you can see the inside. There's no rails or anything. It just all sort of fits together. Um, and actually, because this is a stickerless cube, I can take apart um, these corner and edge pieces. And I could really reorient the cube so that um, different sides are opposite each other. But um, that's how, actually I can also take out the edge piece. Um, they work similarly. Again, they all sort of just fit in there rather than sitting on rails. And it makes it easier to, to spin. Um, I really like this cube a lot better, like the size and uh, how easy it is to spin.